Okay, I feel like we finally got there with a setup. Honestly, guys, I'm not gonna repeat myself like I always do at the beginning of videos, but this house, I can't wait to move. I don't have anywhere to film. I love doing my sit down try and hauls in the bedroom, but I mean, even though it's like minus five this week, we've had blue sky and sun every day, which is beautiful to look at, but blimey, like I say, I only have two places in this house to film. It's either in this room or upstairs and typically the sun always just comes in each room so honestly it's so infuriating so hard for me to film and yeah i tried to sit down just a minute ago to do a sit down bit of this haul but i just can't i can't do it the sun's just in my eyes so anyway we're going to stand up with this haul today i hope you guys don't mind that too much i'm obviously going to try on everything as well um but i'll probably film the trials tomorrow just because I want to wash my hair like it's my first video back doing a haul and I really wanted my hair to all be down and yeah look nice but it's just not worked out that way so yeah please excuse the fact it's shift up but hello blonde we have gone so much lighter and I'm absolutely loving it anyway guys not to rumble as you can see from the title today I'm going to be sharing with you a huge January Primark haul I didn't anticipate to do this much damage in Primark because like most of you I am on a bit of a spending ban at the moment and try not to just buy pointless and needless things if I'm very honest I'm much more trying to go down the route of a capsule wardrobe nowadays but I just I'm so influenced in Primark like I go in there and I think I just have this thing in my head that I just think Primark's so cheap but actually it is really getting quite spenny now um and obviously my job's a content creator so I do like just picking up a load of stuff showing you sharing with you what's in and how you could style it and also I feel like it can give you inspo for things that you may have in your wardrobe currently as well so don't feel like you need to go and obviously run out and buy everything um, I mean, I'm definitely just going to pick my favourite bits out of this and what I will re-wear in my wardrobe. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the final, the final Primark haul in this house. Last bits I picked up were from the Valentine's Day collection because honestly, their Valentine's Day collection this year is stunning. They have so many nice pyjamas, lingerie sets, just... Oh, it's gorge. So I thought I'd pick me and my friend up a matching pair of these hot pink satin pyjamas. I mean, there was loads of love arts and stuff, which was super cute, but I just thought these looked really classy and, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'd be likely to wear these more so all year round than the love heart ones. I mean, actually, you could wear the love heart ones, but anyway, I just really love these and I love a long length trouser and also I've had these satin pyjamas before from Primark and they are firm fave in my wardrobe. So these were £19, not too bad because like I say, they are really good quality um, and I got them in a size 10 to 12. So I got us both a pair of those because we're going to do like a Galentine's night in, which will be really cute. And then I also got us a pack of cozy socks each. These were £3.50. And um, you have these white little heart socks and also the pink ones. How beautiful are those? So needed with the current weather as well. It's blooming freezing. Um, and then um, one of these is my mum. I actually realised when I got home that I picked up the wrong one. So um, obviously, because like I've just said, it is so cold outside. It's now time to go from normal leggings to the velvet plush faux fur lined leggings that probably might do these are honestly a life savior when it's like minus four outside um so these are seven pound i always get them in a small to medium and yeah they're honestly they're so good they really do help with the cold weather now call me crazy i know it's winter but this is another thing with Primark. As soon as you see something, you have to get it. And they had so much swimwear in. I mean, it's January, swimwear. It feels like a million miles away from Smart, but it's soon gonna come around the corner, guys. And honestly, Primark bikinis, I love them. They're honestly my favorite bikinis ever. I spend so much money on other bikinis. And it's so funny because when I'm on holiday, I always just reach my Primark triangle ones. So I feel like this whole bikini was 12 pound just this really gorgeous yellow one um it's like in a ribbed fabric it's so nice i just love how these fit i just yeah i just love them so i got that yellow one i mean i don't even know if i'm going away this year with obviously buying the house and everything i'm sure we'll squeeze a holiday in at some point though so i've just got these on standby and then i also picked up this blue one they did it in orange but i just loved the blue so much how nice is this it's in like a toweling fabric so the bottoms were seven pound um top was five pounds so 12 pound once again 
what a bargain yeah that's two bikinis to start my summer wardrobe off and then on that same visit i went into the home department and oh my goodness as soon as i saw these i was like i need them i need them they went straight in the basket and i'm actually going to put this in the moving pile and not touch them because these will be such a nice treat to use in the new house i'm really hoping they kind of give off the aroma that they smell if that makes sense because sometimes as you know with Primark, some things smell nice and then they don't, they're not that long lasting. Um, and these smell gorgeous. It couldn't be any more perfect, guys. So they are these sweet almond and vanilla reed diffusers. How beautiful. How expensive do these look? Five pound. And they also have black reeds as well, which I always find makes something look a lot more expensive. So yeah, five pound for 150 ml. I thought that was amazing. And like I say, one of my favorite scents as well. It says here, top fragrance, vanilla milk and ice cream, middle fragrance, caramel and almond, and base note, oat and butter. That is just me in a scent. Okay, I think that's better. I feel like I was having to lean down a bit. Um, right, so that is the first bag of which, I'm keeping everything of that, because I just love that. And let's move on to the second bag. So there's just a lot in here that, like I said, I did pick out just to show you, and just show you how I would style them, but I'm definitely not keeping them because I really don't need it. I'm gonna start with Paula's new collection in at Primark. She did like a couple of collections last year they were all stunning i absolutely love her style um and the first thing i picked up out of the collection was this gorgeous knitted jumper which has this bonjour on it is absolutely stunning so i got this in a size small this was 15 pound and yeah it looks like this i mean i need to try this on i need to style this and see what i think um the quality feels really nice but yeah i just want to make sure i'm going to get my wear out things i don't want to be buying things and then only wearing them once and obviously with this being like a slogan top i kind of need to think am i going to wear it more than once is it just going to be one of them gimmicky tops um but yeah i do really really like that okay next up from paula's collection something that i actually was on the lookout for to add to my wardrobe these were in paula's collection they were 16 pounds which i thought was a real good price and they're like in a gray I don't have a colour like this. I'm really after some more kind of black, grey jeans. Because I've got quite a few blue denim ones now. I really want some grey ones and I also want some black. Um, so yeah, I got this in a size 10. The straight leg, which is the kind of fit I was after. So this is what they look like. I feel like you can't really judge anything off the hanger. It's all about the fit. So I'll obviously include the try on. But they just look the most perfect colour. The most perfect shape and fit of what I want. So I'm really hoping that these are going to be a winner. They did also do these in a blue too, but they were sold out in my size. I'm hoping the 10 is going to be okay, to be honest with you, because I feel like sometimes I'm a 12 in Primark jeans. But yeah, we'll see about that. Right, then next up, oh my goodness, this wasn't from Paula's collection, but it was a new in. And I've been after a kind of like brush wool effect blazer for a while now. I think this could be a staple in your wardrobe, to be honest with you providing it's the right fit it's decent quality um and yeah it looks like this so it's in a dark gray like i say it's kind of like that brushed wool effect it's got these black buttons on pockets oh it just feels so soft it's fully lined as well i got this in an eight because do you know what let's just quickly try this over this i got this in an eight because honestly i've made so many errors getting things way too oversized I mean, I look a bit of oversized, but some of my blazers that I have in my wardrobe, I pulled a black one out the other day, and I was like, have I actually gone around wearing this like this for the past year? Because it was massive. See, this is the size and fit I want, guys. Like, I mean, to be fair, I probably like a bit longer in the arms. That's why I do normally tend to oversize. But can you see in the body, it's very still, like, oversized here. Yeah, I don't think you'd want to go up by more than that, to be fair. I like this, guys. I mean, probably not with the light grey mould top underneath, but yeah, that seems really nice. And then they also have the matching bottoms to go with. I'm not sure if I'll keep these, actually. I feel like they could potentially fit. Not very nice. Um, but they are in a 10. They're 14 pound. They are indeed the matching ones to go with the blazer. They have pockets. They've got an elasticated waist and a tie bit as well for detailing oh wait the tie bit's just for detailing they've elasticated at the back so yeah these are just like a narrow leg um and yeah they just have like a pleat going down the middle of the trouser yeah i think these are nice but i don't necessarily know if i'll keep them because i feel like this actually would be perfect for workwear like that nice blazer suit set 
but I don't really wear blazer suit sets on a daily, do you know what I mean? So I don't particularly think I need them. Then the next thing I picked up, so I already know I'm not keeping this, but I wanted to get this to show you how to style because I think this could be unreal for work where if you work in like a corporate environment, you know, like an office job, and obviously get to wear what you want every day. I feel like this would look so stunning. We have this gorgeous cropped blazer. It's in this like light beige color. Um, I got this in a size 10, it was 22 pound. And the quality of this is honestly stunning. I mean, it's really hard to show you. But yeah, this is just beautiful. It's almost in like a marley kind of fabric. Can you see? So I got that and then to go with it, there was this skirt which I just feel like I don't really wear a lot of midi skirts, like it's just not really me, but I just feel like, do you know what I mean? If you was in an office, like that little cropped blazer with this midi skirt, like a nice pair of little like kitchen heels, I just think it looks stunning. So I'm gonna show you that. And the thing with both of these as well for your workwear wardrobe is you could get so many outfits just with the crop blazer on its own and so many outfits just with skirt and like a different top. So yeah, versatility is there with those two items. Okay, then next up, I picked up some jewelry from Paula's collection. I'm actually wearing the earrings from her range right now. You guys know I love a gold hoop. They did all these in um, silver as well, by the way. And yeah, I got these like chunky gold ones. I think they're like 350, I'm gonna say. So yeah, big, big fan of those. I then got some rings, just these like chunky gold rings. How stunning. Oh, just love a chunky gold ring. They were £3.50. And then these bangles seem such nice quality. I thought I'd get these for going out and like on holiday. They were £4.50. And honestly, if you feel the quality of these, they feel almost like a little bit heavy. They don't feel like your cheap, flimsy, like fashion jewellery. So yeah, I grabbed those. Okay, we're on to the last bag now. So next up, back to Paula's collection. I thought I'd show you these cardigans because I just think the are so nice. I always see a lot of fashion influencers wear these kind of style things. And I always think it looks beautiful, but I don't know. Probably not me, but thought I'd get them anyway to show you. I actually went for an extra small in these because they looked quite big. But I don't know, maybe I should, actually, I feel like I should have got a small. Anyway, here is the first one. So as you can see, we have this gorgeous cardigan in this, do you know what? I don't even know what fabric this is, but it's beautiful. It's in like a nice knit. It's got these gold buttons that go down it, which are just absolutely stunning. It looks so expensive. I mean, it was 19 pounds, so not the cheapest of Primark, but I feel with the gold buttons and the fabric, it is definitely like a more expensive piece. It, it does feel really good quality. I thought I'd get it in the black and white too. I feel like if there was one I was gonna keep, it'd probably be, oh, I don't know actually. I probably would keep the white one. Oh, I don't know, this one's beautiful as well. Um, again, 19 pound, same sort of style with the gold buttons. I just feel like this, a pair of jeans, just some Converse, just like a real nice like day-to-day -day look. I don't know, I just, yeah, I really like that. Then next up, I just picked something up really casual, definitely my kind of vibe, this like slouchy, cropped, jumper so it just says p-a-u a raw edge crop on the bottom it's looped back so it's like super soft inside yeah it just really likes that i feel like this would just be really nice to check out with some leggings um or just some jeans just for like a more kind of casual vibe so that was 11 pad they do actually have matching bottoms to go with this but they were all out of stock by the time i was there um so yeah i just got the top okay then Moving to the next item. I feel like if there's anything I'm gonna keep out of this Paula collection, it will be the gray trousers and also this, because this is just beautiful. It is this gray jacket. Let me just show you this. How gorgeous is this? So this was 28 pound. I got this in a size small, which is a 10 to 12. And the quality of this again, just feels so incredibly lovely. Like that's actually quite big. I mean, I'll show you these try-ons properly, um, styled up, because I definitely wouldn't wear it like this, but that's actually quite big for a small. Do you know what? Primark sizing, they in my life. I was like, I'll get a small because it's a coat, you know, you like to lay it. Mind you, if I put a jumper on underneath, I don't think it'd be bad, but it's quite big around the bottom bit. I don't know. We will we'll play around with it. I'll style it up and then I'll let you know what I think then. Next up, for one pound, I got this beanie hat. I don't know what it is at the moment. If you saw my Instagram post over the weekend, I actually wore a red jacket. 
red. Me and red. I'm normally just like black top, black trousers. I just, I don't reach for colour an awful lot. And it's just personal preference. I just don't always feel that confident wearing colour. I just, do you know how you just have your fail safe colours in your wardrobe? That's normally me. Anyway, when I was in Primark, I had an all black outfit on. So I chopped on this hat because obviously it's so cold. I was like, oh, I could do like just a nice hat. My hair was down and I actually really liked it. And I just fall for a pound. Do you know what I mean? Next up, this is another thing that I really like. However, I don't know if it's going to be one of them fabrics that, yeah, it is. Do you know one of those fabrics that if there's bits around, dust particles, everything just sticks to it and you're constantly getting your lint roller out? Oh, that's such a shame because I feel like this could be so nice as well. Anyway, let me show you the jacket. Um, it's just this gorgeous black jacket and it has these gold buttons on. I mean, they're not obviously gold, they're plastic, but you know what I mean? It gives that effect. I really like the fact that this, again, is in that kind of like brushed wool fabric. It's got pockets. So they only had an extra small on this, but you know what? I think this is a, is a good size because obviously after trying on that blooming grey jacket in a small and it was just so big i feel like there's no middle ground with primark do you know because of how they do the sizing they don't do like a 6 8 10 12 14 16 it's very like 6 and 8 8 and 10 I, I don't like it when places size things like that but anyway this is beautiful i just don't know if it's going to be really annoying because you're going to be defluffing it every minute with a lint roller um but yeah that was 32 pound that steep as well. Anyway, they, it also had this matching skirt. And I mean, I'm picking bits off it already, so that is just not a good sign, is it? Um, this is the skirt. Again, it has the little gold like buttons to match. Um, I feel like this would look so stunning for workwear though. The skirt is only £14. Um, and yeah, again, I don't really wear skirts, but I just thought I'd pick this up just to show you how it goes together as coward. Okay, and then last but certainly not least, I picked up a final thing from Paula's collection and it was a suit coordinate. I feel like if I'm ever gonna wear a suit coordinate for day to day, it's gonna be like an all black one with a white t-shirt and trainers or maybe like a gray one. So this is in charcoal. I got the trousers in small and they were only 14, which I thought was good more kind of Primark prices. Um, they feel really nice quality. They've got pockets, elasticated. Yeah, I really like them. And currently I don't have like a go-to gray pair of wide leg trousers in my wardrobe. And then they had the matching blazer. So I got this in a small. Again, I don't know if this is gonna be an error getting it big. Um, and it was 22 pounds. That's actually the perfect size. That is actually the perfect oversizedness again you can't see the bottom so i'll try it all on together and you can see but yeah the small in this is perfect if you just want it kind of like a little bit fitted a little bit slashy just the middle the middle ground anyway guys that is everything i got from a primark and this has been a little bit rambly but you guys know when i do my primark hauls i like to chat with you as well thank you so much for watching as always guys if you are new here then please click the subscribe button also don't forget i do have a tiktok i'm trying to be a little bit more active on tiktok now so if you do have tiktok please go and follow me over on there and yeah i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye